Hello and welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial about PCG. This is part two. Today we're going to talk about uh, landscape spline meshes and uh, just normal splines in the actor blueprints that can remove the foliage in our biome that we are creating, or at least the basics we have already. So, as you can see, I already built a spline. This is going up the hill. I've also enlarged the grass a bit, so you can see. Uh, so we have more grass, so we can make a spline through this. We'll uh, begin with activating our landscape spline mesh in our PCG graph. This is really simple. It's a spline, so we need to get the spline data. Um, again, actor filter. We put all of actors. This time, actor selection will be a class because we're not getting a tag on something, we're getting it from the landscape. And it needs to be a landscape. If we make it landscape, it will find the tag. Uh, well, it will find the spline anyway. And We'll sort it out this way. Up. Voila. As you can see, foliage is removed. Simple and effective. Okay, second part. We want also a blueprint that can remove foliage. Okay, how do we begin? Let's begin by making a blueprint class. Actor. That and a spline. Okay, spline and it. What can we do more? The problem is if we use this on the landscape, you really won't see it, or you won't see much because the line is really hard to see. We can fix this with scale visualization. Put this on hundred or something. You can see bigger. Good. All we have needed and tag again. Tags. Split that. See. A spline that also is a pad. Good. We got this. Okay. For some reason, we can't connect this to this. I've tried try different ways. This is the simplest. We unplug difference. Like this. Then we get plan data. Again, all world actors by tag. Spline pad. Base. Good. What we need? Spline sampler. Spline sampler will control the spline. From the spline sampler, we go to a bound modifier. This bound modifier will make a visual, uh, what do you say? Make a, a bounding around the spline that you can't see, but it will be there. We'll, we'll remove the foliage. This is okay. Uh, like the effects do this. Well, we need more. We can plug this, and this will work. As we can see. Voila, it's easy as that. So, what we did here made all foils from the landscape spline mesh. Last time we did static mesh, now we made a control pad, and setting up this 
is okay, but for one thing, you don't gotta buy it. So again, last time I showed you, if we duplicate this line, we'll create a binary. But this time, we need to do it again, except these. These would be our input for the differences. And then we just copy these again, then change everything a bit. Uh, no transformation, the settings, the scaling, adding new meshes, more meshes. And then we can make the biome. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something of it contributed, contributed to something. Bye.